Hey guys, Ryan House here, and welcome back to episode 4 of our Dwarf Fortress Let's Play series. And when we left off, we had just received a brand new migrant wave, and we had started tunneling out some new uh, living quarters for our nine dwarves now. And while I was away, I went ahead and started some construction. I'm going to go ahead and show you in just a moment. I'm going to get rid of these designations here for now. But our dwarves are going to be very busy for quite a few episodes. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys what I have planned. Alright, down here is going to be the next level of uh, workshops. You can see here I have this area uh, being dug out. Actually, I'm going to have these as downward stairways right here. Those will be downward stairways. And then these will be up-down stairways all the way down. So the rest of the fortress will have up-down stairways from that point on. Okay. Uh, these uh, empty lines right here will fill in. I just don't want the doors digging that just yet. Because I want them working on the more important project, which is this project right here. Now this project is going to be... Here, go to the surface right above. You can see... Uh, this is going to be filled with water. These are also going to be filled with water with a trap door uh, connected to uh, uh, levers. Uh, the levers are going to be here and here and here and here as well. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, either that or I'll install levers over here, maybe create like a, like a small room over here to do that. Not quite sure yet something like that. I don't know. But uh, these tunnels here are going to transport water from the river. So you can see here, I'm going to have it linked up all the way over here uh, to the river. And if necessary, we'll just channel out a section right here so that none of our dwarves drown while they're construction constructing uh, this underground aqueduct, basically. Alright, and then this right here is overflow and we'll have another lever attached all the way over here uh, to plug this bad boy up or actually we'll probably have a lever system plugged in right here instead yeah so in fact I can probably remove that so they dig that out and place a floodgate right here and then we'll have a floodgate right here as well so we have two floodgates uh, controlling inflow and outflow. All right, so with that, uh, we're going to want maximum water in here so that this is full, and we don't have to worry about water pressure because we're on the same level as the stream itself. So it should fill up to a maximum of seven over time. And then over here, uh, these rooms are actually going to fill up entirely with water. I could probably just go ahead put the channel there. So we'll have channels here on top. We'll place a floor hatch on each of these um, with levers to raise the floor hatch and let the water pass through. So I want each of these blocks here to fill up with a 7x7 seven seven water. Hopefully that's how the system is going to work. Uh, if not, I'll have to drain the system and we'll have to lower everything one more floor so that we have uh, basically more water pressure but that's the idea and then we'll have um, uh, floodgates here and here and same up here so after these fill seven uh, seven deep uh, worth of water on each of these tiles we'll go ahead and uh, close the floodgates trapping the water inside and then uh, we'll drop the water down into these rooms here which will be sealed off by doors and the water will spread out throughout the room and basically in a one or two uh, depth of water uh, spreading out covering the entire floor of those farming plots and then it'll dry up over time and then over here these rooms are going to be for seed storage so this will probably be uh, one farm, like say it's a plump helmet farm or something, then this will all be seeds. I don't think I need rooms that big, but I went ahead and made large rooms anywho. 
So uh, that's where our se uh, specific seed storage will go. Okay. And then what else? What else? Okay. So that is that. That's uh, pretty much the uh, food layout for the fortress. It's going to be good. Uh, workshops and everything. So yeah, we'll have uh, this this part. I'm I'm really going to be happy with because uh, this flood system, this aqueduct here, uh, because we can drain it, we can come back in here with dwarves and do uh, renovations later on. Say we want to change something. So uh, it's it's very easy that we can do this now because we have a waterfall. I don't think I would have come up with an idea like this without a waterfall. It would have been very different to say the least. Alright, so uh, that's where our fortress stands at the moment. So that'll be an interesting uh, piece of architecture that will... piece of engineering, civic engineering that we will be working on. Um, along with that, I suppose we can go ahead... Let me see. I really want our dwarves to come down here and start digging these tunnels. So let's see here. I want them to specifically focus on, let's see, don't want them to dig that or any farther than that. So, if they're going to come here and dig, I want them to dig straight to here. And we're just going to have to uh, make sure our dwarves don't go on a digging uh, spree. I don't want them released into the rest of the fortress there. So they'll start digging that. You can see here I'm placing up downstairs here. Uh, it's not necessary actually. Actually, I'm going to replace all of these stairs here with up downstairs. That's right. So these stairs will be removed. And up downstairs. Um, so these will be downward stairs. And these will be up and downstairs. And these will be up and downstairs with downward stairs in the middle. So, yeah, it's kind of confusing. But uh, I did it all in my head earlier, so I know it'll work. All right. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and let the fortress go ahead and run here. And I'm expecting a trade caravan soon, so that'll be nice. What do we have here? Just bins lying out. Probably because the bins are outside. <laughs> oh well. And let's select the wagon for removal. Now I ordered the dwarves to go ahead and start dumping a lot of the stone. Um, just removing the stone from this area. How are we looking on food? Yeah, food is getting short. So we might have to butcher some livestock. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and build a kitchen in here. I can actually do that right now. Let's go ahead and build a kitchen. Actually, are we low on drink as well? We're down to eight drink, so drink is actually even more important. So let's go down to still. We need more drink. And make that out of marble. And then our brewer should go over there and attend to the still. And then we'll start brewing up some food for our dwarves. Now, what do we have here that we can brew? Plump helmets? Yeah. Cave lobster. We can cook up some cave lobster, some bonobo tripe. We're really low on food right now, guys, so we definitely need a trade caravan, which reminds me. Yeah, we need to start pumping out rocks and crafts as well. So, hopefully we get everything put together rather relatively soon. Nobody should be... Um, 
sitting on their butts right now. We have plenty to do. So they did bring in one of those bins. That's good. It's good to see our dwarves using bins. Don't know where they put it, though. Oh, yes. Yeah, so everything else has been moved upstairs. Um, I know this is going to be a barracks room later. But for now, it's uh, storage. Like everything else, right? Old dusty rooms, unused rooms get turned into storage. But yeah, they should have made... Yeah, those stairs should be functional now, those up-down stairs. Yep. We have dwarves using those up-down stairs. That's good. That means I can go ahead and remove... Let's see here. Designate. I suppose I would have to actually remove those stairs, huh? So let's try... Let's see here. Remove construction. Remove construction there and there. And then I want to remove the designations here so we can place our stairs. With plenty of room. And we'll go ahead and hit B, capital C, and X to place up downstairs, okay? We'll make them out of marble. X, marble, X, marble. All right, so we're placing our up down stairs. All this is gonna be really good. You can see our dwarves did start to mine. So it's good that I've had them focus on where to, where to mine. That's good. Now, that's something else I need to take a look at here because they're gonna mine down here too. All right, so let's uh, make sure that they don't go on a mining spree again. All right. Grabbing the bins. Okay, stray cat tame has given birth to kittens. All right. So we should have kittens. Yeah, there's wombats. Where are those kittens? There's the kitten. Alright, so let's go ahead and set up the kitten ready for slaughter. Now, that's something that we don't have set up yet. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, um, if this goes way back to my original Let's Play of Fortress Zondervad. Here at our Dwarven Fortresses, we like to create a tasty little morsel called a kitten biscuit. And they're delicious. So if you like cats, we love cats too. They're really good eating. So that's how we kind of keep the uh, cat population in control. Otherwise, they will they will quickly uh, overpopulate this force uh, fortress. So they provide a little bit of meat on the side as well. So they keep us going. All right, and uh, we'll place a butcher's shop in the food production area. Soon enough, you can see the fortress is starting to get all nice and cleaned up. It's starting to look good. And then we'll do uh, wall detailing and stuff like that once we get plenty of extra dwarves uh, where they have nothing else to do, okay? That's a wombat, I believe. No, it's a stray goat kid. Oh, so our goats are breeding. Yeah, a stray nanny goat has given birth to a goat kid. All right. All right, and they auto automatically designate the uh, the goat to that area. That's awesome. Very good. Okay. 
So we have some extra wildlife, some extra animals rather. And we are quickly running out of drink, so we need to brew drink right now. And we'll set that on repeat. We're gonna need we're gonna need something to brew soon. And uh, we're running out of time. It's gonna take a long time to get all this set up. Might as well have them test dig everything. Yeah, this is gonna take a long time to set up. That's for sure. Might as well have them dig this as well. They'll be like, I don't wanna dig it. Well, you're gonna, you're gonna dig it. All right. Two drink, some meat. Yeah, it might be time to slaughter. I didn't really want to slaughter the yaks, but it, we might have to live off of the uh, the kid, the goat, and the kitten. So, yep, might have to happen. In fact, uh, let's make sure that our Let's make sure that our dwarves focus on finishing out our food supply area first. That's very important. Start cutting down on all of these excess designations. Everybody should have wheelbarrows, but they're not they're not using them all the time. Hidden under these three tiles here is a uh, garbage dump tile and I'll remove that designation after we start clearing out all this excess stone and then we'll have plenty of stone it's all nice and tidy oh no he's out of distillable items okay well we have plenty <laughs> we have plenty of drink now plenty of drink in fact what kind of drink do we have? We don't know. Uh, we don't have a bookkeeper really right now. All right, so let's go ahead and place it. Uh, we don't have any tables yet. Thought I ordered him to create tables. Pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I told him to create tables. Uh, maybe not. A table and a throne, please. Alrighty then, that should be good. What is everybody up to? Okay, three guys dumping items. Okay, we're smelting some sphalerite ore, that's good. Constructing a rock table and storing items in stockpile. Okay. Alright, good, good, good. You there are making rock jugs, rock pots, crafts, mugs, crafts, mugs, crafts, okay. In fact, I should probably just, you know what? Just set these two on repeat and remove those. Yeah. That way he'll do a, he'll do a rock craft, a rock jug, or a rock mug, rock craft, rock mug. For the foreseeable future, getting his skill up and using up some of this excess marble for now. We have so much of it. And then, uh, what else do we need to do? After we do all that, I should have those wheelbarrows. Where are they? Uh, 
Look at all the sphalerite, guys. Uh, zinc bars, rather. Oh, wow. That's gonna look really, really good. You know what we need more of? We need more bins. Okay, so actually, yeah, they will be making beds and bins soon. That's good. And we have, we have some beds we can go ahead and place. Two of them, it seems. So we'll place the beds here as well. So that's going to be a lot or a, a dormitory, and those other ones are going to be. Uh, individual rooms, and then we need doors. We need lots and lots of doors, so get to work, guys. Get to work. We need lots of doors. We should have coffers now. Uh, what is that under? Place a coffer. Container. There we go. We can have them place a container. Marnie's doing there okay one of them's digging let's go to him see what he's digging okay so he's digging that right now wait a second how did he get there oh no he went down oh no that's what I was afraid he would do okay that's kind of why I did not have them <laughs> That's kind of why I didn't have them do that earlier, because I was afraid they would do that. And they did do it. Oh no. Okay. Alright, this is what I want to do. I want him to stop all that activity. And I want him to dig straight home. What a mess. What an absolute mess. Want him to dig straight home. Get the hell out of there. And then if anybody else gets stuck, they can do the same thing. Alright. <laughs> Cause he's gonna he's gonna run out of drink really soon. In fact, uh, don't do that either. Just dig and get the hell out of there. Dwarves, you gotta micromanage these these guys. You really do. You gotta be careful. They'll get themselves into sticky situations. That dwarf right there is Saxman, by the way. So that's what Saxman's doing. You can tell he's kind of he's kind of freaking out. He's like, uh, now he's sleeping. In fact, let's go ahead and look at Saxman here. Uh huh. Saxman has been quite content lately. Slept on a rough cave floor recently. Ate a pretty decent meal. Uh, slept without a proper room recently. Complained about the lack of a well lately. Now, a well is actually something that we will be creating soon. In fact, I could probably squeeze a well into our design here. Let me think. A well. Let me think. I gotta create a well, right? Okay. I don't know where I would put a well. I'm gonna have to think about that, guys. If I place a well down... Where would I put it? A well. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, we have water coming into the fortress. So we should be able to place a an area where there's plenty of water. Let's see. I don't know. Uh, during off screen, I'll go ahead and try to figure that out, and I'll show you guys my design a little later. Okay. Door suspended construction of marble coffer. Why is that? Oh, there's probably an there's probably a rock there. Well, maybe not. Okay, now we're running low on food. That's concerning me. So, actually, let's see here. We might need to slaughter the lamb soon. I'm hoping that the yaks give birth of the bulls, the water buffalo. Hoping that they give birth soon so we can slaughter that animal as well. Now, I know the adults will give more food, but, you know, you know. Actually, can we see... Hmm. Alright, so it looks like everybody's sleeping. Sleeping. All right, <laughs> Saxman's trying to dig himself to freedom. He's not digging the right way. <laughs> He's digging down. We hit more Sphalerite, by the way. He, want, he wants to make sure the stairs are nice before he heads back up, apparently. Okay, so this is going to have to get mined out. Alright, and you're free! You're free at last. Thank God you're free at last. And you're thirsty. Very thirsty. Alright, so go get something to drink. Good job, Saxman. Good job, buddy. All right, so the dwarves are very, very busy. Very busy indeed. And you know, right now, let's see something. Now, right here, that's gonna be a wall. I'm not putting a floodgate or anything, so once that's all sealed off, it's all sealed off. I'm afraid that if a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a dangerous creature got in there that can destroy buildings, like doors and stuff, he would just stomp right in throughout the rest of the fortress, so I'm not going to give him any kind of easy access, that's for sure. Well, okay guys, uh, that's about it for today. Uh, stay tuned next time in the episode 5 of our Dwarf Fortress Let's Play series where we continue to construct this excellent fortress called Lemu Laban Golden Construct. Okay. Take care and happy gaming, guys.